What's up everybody? So today's video, I'm just going to go ahead and warn you, it's going to be a little less exciting than it normally is. Um, I wanted to give you all an update because I, I usually at bare minimum try to make a one, one video a week upload. And last week I didn't get to make it, I dropped the ball. There's actually a couple reasons why. Um, I was actually going to make a shooting video and had went to Winrock Range here. See that white mark above that dam? Yeah. That was right there. That was you hit it. Yeah, that was you. That's so underwhelming compared to that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what do we get if we hit the target? Another round? Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking sleek. <laughs> you ever shot one before? You ever been in a bad car wreck? <laughs> you know, when shit like really happens and you, you lose all everything? That's it. Um, we did a little bit of target practice, some shooting. Um, unfortunately, shout out to GoPro for selling, you know, uh, what I feel like is expensive pieces of junk cameras, which wig out all the time, makes this so much harder. But that's a different subject for a different time. Uh, wigged out and killed some of the footage, some of the stuff that I was thinking about putting together. So, you know, I'll include a couple videos. Um, I'm going to touch base on a couple topics. One of those being is the shooting videos. I've got to see what the um, legalities is for the channel to post up shooting videos and stuff um, of what we're doing with them so the channel doesn't get demonetized or taken down or I have to spend like an eternity editing footage to take out stuff that they feel like is offensive and hurts people's feelings or whatever it is that gets the videos taken down because uh, I know you see me do this a lot uh, as far as speaking and and on the videos and stuff but you know primarily I'm the one that does the editing and you know whatnot the the guys of the group that you see in the writing videos and stuff that we do they enjoy it but I just have a little bit more time um, and a setup better to go through and do the editing and get these videos and stuff uploaded so you guys tell me uh, you know down in the comments if you want to see you know shooting videos I know there's just god awful amount of channels out there I watch uh, a lot of channels and stuff uh, shooting videos um, people doing dumb stuff um, uh, 
informative videos on certain guns and ammunition and stuff that I'm looking at personally. So it's creative. I think what sets one apart is the people that's involved. But I'll go ahead and move to the next subject. So, <clears throat> like I said, sorry about last week's upload. If you are an avid follower, uh, I know our channel's kind of small. We got a couple things spread across social media. But I do apologize. I didn't get anything up last week. Uh, there's a couple reasons why. Um, due to this COVID stuff, work has been crazy for me. It's been crazy for everybody else in the group. I think Andrew, um, Andrew and Fast Tech, they've been preparing for the GTR World Cup, which was this past week weekend. It's been, you know, shout out to those guys for the great success that they had at GTR World Cup. Uh, I wish I had a clip to throw in here and show you guys how well that they did. Slide over to, if you're on Facebook, just slide over to Fast Tech Motorsports. That's been one of my sponsors with the drift car for an extended amount of time. Uh, it's been quite a few years and I've been friends with Andrew for like eight or nine years. But then... Uh, Jay and Joel and Brian and uh, Dustin. Dustin works for the same company that I do, uh, just a different division. And we have been getting hammered with overtime due to all the COVID stuff that's going on. Uh, it's it's a big mess. There's a lot of overtime there. Um, Brian, uh, Brian and his dad, they've been covered up with a lot of work. Um, I think Steve's rig is... Uh, they're waiting on parts due to back orders on COVID, you know, like they can't get parts. They've been waiting on parts since I think we did the the uh, Thanksgiving weekend. Um, uh, his, I think his front diff and then his transmission is something, something broke in that. So they haven't been able to make it up. They've been super busy. Um, Jay and Joel, they're both busy with work, uh, stuff going on. Um, which brings me to this this coming weekend uh friday let me check the exact date and i've not made a big post about it or anything this was a short spur of the moment we're trying to get together and just be like hey we've got we need a break we need a break from life because honestly we do the recording of the videos and we go out and riding and stuff and we record a small portion of what we do for our weekends and stuff and we we go out and we have a lot of fun so even if we're out for a day, a two days, a three days, you know, like it's a break from life. We're all adults. We all got adult responsibilities and families and all this stuff. And it's, those couple days make it worth it. So on January 29th, we're headed up to Brimstone. Brimstone's about an hour and a half away from me. Um, it's easier for me to get to Roll Blue, but it's it's like hour 15 minutes, hour and a half. But anyways. We're going up to Brimstone, January 29th, the 30th, and the 31st. That's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So if you see this video and you are a Brimstone rider or you're up there that weekend, I will be in the new rig, uh, the 21 XRC RR. Uh, I'm going to have some koozies. I'm going to have some stickers and stuff with me. Uh, a limited supply. It's, it's what I got left over. It's what I carry in the truck uh, and keep around. You know, people run into me. I'll just be like, hey, you know, here you go. And I'll hand it out to them. But I will have this stuff with me in the rig. Um, if you see me or whatnot, just shout out, hey, Abe, let me get a sticker. Hey, Abe, let me get a koozie. And if I got some, I'll hand it out. That's no problem. If you want to ride with us, um, you know, just show up. We're gonna ride. It's it's not a big event that I've posted and everything. Uh, if you guys want to hang out with us, if you don't, if you don't want to see us, you want to bullshit for a minute, just say something. Um, so yeah, so there's that. Um, let's see. Yeah, I, I touched base on the shooting, the videos and stuff. Um, I think so far this year I've been riding twice. I took the new rig out, you guys seen that video, and then one other weekend I went out and I took the 19 XRC and we went riding 
uh, we didn't plan on shooting. We were just hanging out. We were doing whatever. And then ever since then, I've just been slammed. Um, ooh, I had two days off since then. Uh, one day we went shooting, um, got some new toys, and, and wanted to go play around. I actually wanted to make a video and put it up on the channel and see how it does and figure out how all this stuff on YouTube does. Um, so, another thing is, is... I know you hear it a lot, it's repetitive, but it, it really does work, it really does help. Um, I personally am trying to push away from Facebook uh, as me as a person, uh, not in political garbage and, and all that stuff, it's just Facebook's become super toxic. And I get on there, I get in scroll mode, and it's just like, eh, I'm not really feeling it. So. Uh, one thing that you can do to help out the channel in and it's absolutely free is uh you know sharing our videos and on all videos on all platforms however you watch it there's always a little arrow right there that says share and then you can either share it on your personal page or and you can share it on your favorite riding group um and you know you can just share that around other people will see it they'll watch it maybe they find the channel I think this week we crossed over or it was last week we crossed over 1600 subscribers and that's awesome considering that it's been just a little bit over a year that I started doing this and started kind of taking it seriously so thanks to you guys you have helped get the channel monetized um, it's it's fun for me to do because um, I'm learning a lot about editing footage um, and it's kind of like it's an extra little thing to do while we're riding instead of just riding around and riding around and riding around it's kind of fun I don't want to make it a, a full-time job but I have fun doing it um, if you hit the like button like the thumbs up that helps it puts it in an algorithm if you drop a comment down in down below that uh, that helps bump it up in algorithm. I know that this is not a channel that's of thousands and thousands or millions of people that are going to see it. You know, like we're trying to grow. That does bring me to another uh, another point of growth. So I'm based. Our group is based out of Tennessee, out of East Tennessee. Now I noticed that there is a, a lot of other YouTube channels that is close vicinity of the area. Some people I don't know about. There is people that I do know about. And feel free to reach out and collaborate. Now I'm, you know, even if you've got a couple hundred subscribers or if you've got a million subscribers, you know, it helps us and it helps you there's a um, in the collaboration phase is kind of like cross-branding our v viewers get to see you your v viewers get to see us and it kind of helps build a bond a relationship it's kind of like an independent artist thing you know independent artists they got to deal with record labels you know and all this stuff but it's a lot harder for them to get out and basically that's what all of us are trying to do is you know get out there and uh, not necessarily be the the movie superstar type but it's like man if the nine to five grind was something that you enjoy or you know that you were passionate about and and you know you could go do that you do the trips there's a there's a lot of youtubers and stuff that i follow and have followed for a long time um and i know that everything is not as it seems where you, you you're watching the videos and you're seeing it from the outside but you know for me uh personally if i'm doing something and and i'm making it and it's successful I'm always going to give that feedback to other people that are like me that's trying to come up that's good people so um, my biggest thing is is trying to motivate other people to get them up get them rised up um, and and show them 
you know you don't you don't necessarily have to follow the same footsteps as somebody before you like you can make your own path you can be your own person I've been talking and rambling too much about that but if you are a channel and you want to cross brand you want to collaborate reach out um, there's several different forms of social media you shoot me a message um, and I will get back to you we'll try to organize something up uh, just be mind weary that work schedules COVID garbage is is insane so it may take more than a couple days to get something worked out maybe a couple weeks but it'll be awesome nonetheless we'll have a good time um, so if you pay attention to any of the links and stuff down below there is uh, Facebook we got our Facebook page the public page um, uh, full Yeet Adventures, just like the YouTube channel now. Uh, we're trying to get that up to 10,000 subscribers. Uh, 10,000 subscribers, I think we're a little under 3,000 right now, but if we get that up to 10,000, that'll be alright. That steps into the next step of getting monetized by Facebook. Um, Instagram, Full Yeet Adventures. Uh, I'm trying to learn MeWe. It's weird jumping on all these different social media platforms. I'm trying to learn MeWe. I'm on there right now. Uh, Rumble. I just uploaded video, uh, first video to Rumble. Um, just in case something happens to the YouTube channel, there will be other places for you to be able to watch and see this content. There's a lot of wild shit going on right now, uh, especially for content creators. So Rumble you know rumble will be there uh i had a guy refer me to it and i think there's another one called bit shoot i'm going to be investigating bit shoot and checking it out so it'll be one of those other places that you can still find us it'll be a backup plan you know if, if this just gets too far out of hand um because me personally i don't like being told what to do and what i can and cannot do i know right from wrong but just because somebody else feels a certain way about it doesn't mean that i'm gonna have to um also another thing about the the Facebook and the Instagram stuff so there's like a couple thousand less than 3,000 people subscribe or um, that likes the the Facebook page um, and last year I experienced on my personal page um, a lot of getting banned for like no reason at all just off the wall comments that I would just get banned, I get blocked. You know, I couldn't put videos up, I couldn't put content up, and stuff like that, which was kind of aggravating. It's whatever, it's their platform. I ain't gonna fight them over it, but it was just kind of stupid about why I was catching uh, Facebook bans. And it actually got to a point that I stopped commenting on people's stuff. You know, it, it just didn't matter what it was, I wasn't gonna comment on it no more. So, in return, when I would catch those bands they were constantly sending me emails just constantly sending me emails hey we know you got almost 3,000 people that's following your page but only 300 of them are available to see it if you pay us this certain amount of money we're gonna allow them to see it what's you know that's a business plan on them their end but I understand I understand making money but that's kind of stupid like you know I feel like that was a uh, kind of pushing me to uh, blackmail and kind of like well you need to be paying us for people to see your content well motherfuckers you're not even paying me like I'm you know I'm self-promoting I'm entertainment to people you know if, if people like this stuff or not if they like it obviously they want to see it if they don't then they won't so that brings another uh, point of notifications. So on the pages, I'm, I'm pretty sure on the Facebook page and stuff, if I knew how, I would bring it up over here, like showing you a tutorial on uh, Facebook on how to get notifications when we put posts and stuff up. But on, uh, on YouTube, it's super easy. You just hit the bell, and then every time I make an upload, you'll get a notification, and it'll, you know, you can watch it whenever it'll always be there and then you can just hit that share button and send it to whatever social media group that it is and it didn't cost you nothing um as always uh there's a link down below 
for merchandise. That's kind of self-explanatory. You know, if you want something, there, there's all kinds of stuff in there. There's like shirts, um, pants, hoodies. Uh, I'm fixing to go through and redo a different design. I haven't had a whole lot of time to do it. But, you know, there's there's merchandise line in there if you want to support the channel. Um, I hate to say financially, that's like me begging. But if, if you wanted to support the channel financially and get you merchandise, something to have in your hand that shows, hey, people, you know, I support them, then there you go. I'm not begging for you to do it. There's people, you know, that have and been selling merchandise since probably about 2016 with drifting and all that stuff so you know if you want to do it you're going to do it if you if you don't know about it now you know about it there's a link below that says merchandise and a link you click that and then you do the rest of the work to pick out what you want pay it pay for it and they'll ship it to you um last but not least um so this idea has been thrown around uh, if you followed me through drifting, um, you know that for quite a few periods of time, me trying to do competitive drifting, that I had sponsors. Um, and there is a big difference between sponsors and partnerships. So I got to thinking about it, discussed it, talked about it. So the channel uh, in itself, the channel and... Uh, which is open to all forms of social media that we're on right now we are open to sponsor slash partnerships we are open to it um, but number one you need to understand um, I am not and will not beg for a company's support um, I learned the difference in that in drifting when that happened uh, we are self-sufficient but my biggest goal is with partnerships and sponsorships is is basically spreading the word getting out there being like an independent artist um, you guys obviously spark uh, sponsors and partnerships they use drivers to get their name out well that's the same thing we want to get our name out so it's going to be a, a 50 50 slide um, basically it's uh well, if you like us you like our style you like what's going on then then that's it um, I'm, I'm always open to promote people's products as long as it's good products and it comes from a good company that's got good integrity I will not support anybody that does um, uh, that has shitty products I'm not gonna lie to people and tell them that you got shitty products I know this is probably something that you shouldn't say you want to get out there or whatnot but I am a 110% true person um, but will not support shitty products uh, or shitty companies and last but not least like we come as we are uh, me personally um, my attitude my atmosphere the person the way that I am uh, that's what people like about me and that's what people want to watch so if there's ever a fun if you ever contemplate that you may have a phone call or a text message that's gonna tell me hey you can't do this or hey you can't do that then we can't it ain't gonna work because that's how I'm able to get out there what people like you know sell myself and do whatever is basically being me doing what I want and how I want so so far I'm looking down we're already over 20 minutes into this video hopefully you've stayed and you watched the whole thing um, again thank you for being a supporter of the channel I don't think I have any more basis to really touch on this uh, brimstone like I said brimstone's coming up uh, if you're there, if you can make plans, come on out. If you see me, um, I'm not going to have a designated area because this will be only my second time at Brimstone. We should have a Brimstone, if not a couple Brimstone videos up here coming soon. But, again, thank you. Back over the topics. 
like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Their social media lines. Um, I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of your week. So, peace out, guys.